is Trump a fascist? This is by that Robert Reich, uh, who's a mega, mega liberal. I might have fact smart, this is liberalism is a mental disorder update. on uh, YouTube instead of on Rumble, and the reason is he has a video on YouTube, so I'm going to upload it to YouTube instead, so I can reply properly. The biggest story about Trump's indictments, including the one expected this week from Georgia, is that Trump is centering on his entire presidential campaign on them. In a long way, is seeking to meld his identity with his, those of his supporters so they per, feel personally attacked by the prosecutions. And while he is much, infinitely much more like us than you are, Mr. Reich, you are a liberal elitist. I don't need Trump to tell me that. For Trump supporters, this is not rallying around the flag, it's not even rallying around the former president. It's rallying around themselves, aligning their personal identities with Trump. More than half the Republicans, including 77% of self-identified MAGA Republicans, say indictments and investigations against Trump are an attack on people like them, according to CBS News slash YouGov poll, taken soon after the most recent indictment. Uh, I'm going to go a little further, Mr. Reich. I'm on record, and I'm not backing away from this. This is a communist show trial. I appear to be the only one saying this. But I know my history. I know what it was like under the Soviet Union, under those uh, that people like you idolize, which are communists. Thinking about this, my the indictments, Trump's 2024 campaign, the grievances of millions of Americans against a system that has bullied them for years. I mean, uh, white conservatives, probably, and Trump's pathological narcissism are all fussing, fusing into a single, unalterable, irrational mass movement. You're not getting it. We want, uh, all we want is to be able to vote for the, our candidate of our choice. And that choice is being taken away from us. We're being told to vote for a communist every time. It's not to the point where it was in the Soviet Union where the government told you which, uh, candidate to vote for and then you voted for him, but, but it's very close to that. There would be one person on the ballot if you didn't vote for him, it was off to Siberia with you. That's how th things worked in the Soviet Union. I am your justice, I am your retribution, Trump said when announcing his campaign. I am being indicted for you, he said in June, after being charged with retaining government secrets. Well, that's true. Uh, they're indicting him to try to keep him out of the campaign. I'm being arrested for you. He posts in all caps on August 3rd, day of his indictment for seeking to overthrow 2020 election. That is a lie. You lie like a Romulan dog. He was not trying to overthrow it. He was questioning it. So you, Mr. Reich, are a liar. At a campaign event in New Hampshire last week, he claimed... They might silence me because I will never let them silence you. Last for Hannah Arendt is pointing out the fascist leader fuses his identity with his followers, 
so that followers lose their capacities for independent thought. Oh, brother. I, don't, I never heard of that whack job before. As fascist leader takes over the factual, psychological, and moral premises of the world as followers inhabit it, the followers relinquish their freedoms. They suspend critical judgment and become autonom automatons. Oh, brother. Unbelievable. Be warned what Trump and much of the Republican Party have embarked upon is as dangerous as the future of our democracy and to the rest of the world that looks for America for leadership, as was Trump's attempted coup leading up to January 6, 2021. That is a lie. If your nose grew when you spoke, it would be a redwood. Again, that's another lie by Mr. Reich. We need to get the word out. I'm not listening to communists. <laughs> I recently shared with you what I consider to be the five core elements of fascism and why fascism is different from authoritarianism. I would argue that Trump and his Republican Party are moving rapidly toward fascism. The Republicans aren't that ambitious, and I urge the media to use the term fascist rather than authoritarian to describe what Trump and his GOP are up to. Wow. This guy is seriously off his rocker. Talented young people I work with at Inequality Media Civic Action have produced a powerful video that uses actual clips of Trump to make these points. I'm sharing it with you in hopes that you find it useful. Please share. Unbelievable. Uh, Mr. Reich, under Trump we had the most freedom I've ever seen. We had a stable economy. We had relatively low gas prices. The country was energy independent. And now look at this. this country, in two years, under Biden, has been turned into a basket case. We're broke. Inflation is out of control. And they're taking away right after right after right. And we don't know what to do about it. Our vote is useless now. Unbelievable. Anybody would... I don't get it. Well... What can I say? Liberalism is a mental disorder. Michael Savage is right about that, and this guy is a uh, primary case of that. The, the mental disorder of liberalism. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.